Yes, people. Um, reality based diets here. Um, yeah, man. I've I've decided to switch up the the setup today. Um, you know, everything in, in life has to progress. If you're not progressing, you're probably regressing. But it looks like stagnation. But anyway, let me um let me follow on from yesterday's talk about the mind. Um, and discuss further, not necessarily the true meaning of the seven deadly sins, right? Um, in terms of each sin and all the rest of it. But just in terms of, you know, the fact that there's seven of them. Seven is a magic number, first of all, right? Um, it's a divine number. Um and secondly that you know when they say deadly it's not like it, when they were saying deadly it's not like oh you do this and you die right it's it's it like once again it's metaphorical uh like in any of them especially obviously the big m yeah but the more you partake in any of them the more the more that you lower your vibration and this is this is the death that they talk about you know um because obviously you're sacrificing your divine self you're sa you're sacrificing your god your godlike connection and your 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 affinity with the source um so yeah like like i'm saying to you like there's there's so much information within you know within scripture uh of of everybody's religions that is inherently it all comes back to what is and i'll probably get attacked for this for saying it but what is the source material for all of them is the ma'at yeah um and you know this this is the goddess of balance um the truth within human duality you know um, so, like I'm saying to you, without real understanding that a lot of, never mind a lot, let's just say, let's just keep it at the three Abrahamic um, religions. They all stem from Ma'at, right? Whether or not people like that or not is irrelevant to me. But the point being is, you know, um, high vibrations, the higher you vibrate, the higher you, you know, you, the higher your frequency, the more in contact you are with God, first and foremost, but it's, it's also the, the double down on whatever you put out in life inherently comes back to you, right? The majority of people don't really understand the energy is real um and beyond that magic yeah you say magic is real 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 but like you got to remember that like in this in this realm this realm that we're in there's lots of things that we now consider just the norm that used to be considered magic yeah if you go back to the 1700s but you got a plane they're gonna think you're a god do you understand right so ancient wisdoms and 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 knowledge and all this other stuff it, it they make it sound like some lord of the rings type business but the reality is this this world is more is is so much older than than what we are given right and first and foremost Who's to say that certain cycles haven't been done before or com come to this point before? Who's to say that in the time of, you know, the pharaohs, the, the Egyptians, because even the pharaohs, I don't know if they were the original inhabitants of Egypt. Yeah, I think they found, they might have found, just found the pyramids. Who knows? I don't know. But let's push that to one side, right? Because there's certain facts about the pyramids, yeah, that, if you have any type of sense in your head, you're like, 
raw what do, like how why like do you know what i mean in terms of um they've they've done studies and the 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 chambers yeah and the structure <clears throat> especially the internal of the pyramids yeah um they resemble that of a nuclear reactor right and beyond just that you got to remember like africa is the largest um container or holder of all of the most precious materials in the world right so if we know those two things to be facts and obviously the river now being like uh, a main vein for you know transporting certain bits and pieces in and around that region we have to look at maybe there's a possibility that in the times of the pyramids when these things were they are there because you look they are in the desert the city is is the other side right these th these things the pyramids are not they're not king they're not castles that's already been proven especially when you look at the layout of them from above yeah they resemble that of the layout of a circuit board coincidence or something greater than you know because let me let me put it like this yeah you you zoom into human cells and rare 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 and it looks like the universe yeah you zoom into the human's brain um with the lightning it looks like the universe yeah so the the correspondence theory is is prevalent in everything yeah so if i'm saying as above so below right the circuit board is the below yeah um i guess but it, but you zoom out uh and you come to you know looking at the pyramids from from above the same thing can be said. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, there's a lot to be learned <clears throat> from all, you know, religious scripture. But inherently, it all comes from art. Uh, 